Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koe and today we're going to do a glam soft look, a soft glam look. Basically something that doesn't involve bright colors and harsh lines. So to start off the makeup, I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Phone. And I'm just using it to define my brows and I'm applying it all over my eyelids also as, a, as an eyeshadow base. I'm just taking a blending brush and I'm making sure that that um, concealer is nicely blended and evenly spread. For this step, I'm just taking uh, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Novena 2 palette and I'm using the color E4 to apply it in the crease of my eye and in the outer corner of my eye. You won't see a significant change because I already did the other eye, so they'll look similar, but yeah, and that's what I'm doing there. I'm just making sure to dab it in the outer corner of the eye. Next, I'm taking the shade C1, which is just a light, like, beige color, and it's matte from the same palette, and I'm just applying it on, on the area where I didn't apply, which is the inner corner of my eye up to the middle of my eyelid. For this next step, as you can see, I'm just highlighting my brow bones, and I'm just applying the shade E2 below my brows. Uh, just to highlight the brow bone and it's like a purpley shade just like the one I used E4 but it's a shimmer shade or yeah it's like a metallic shimmer shade I'm now just taking a blending brush and I'm using it to blend it all out to make sure that everything is nice and nicely blended I'm just using the Maybelline Volume Express Mascara in the color black to apply just below my, my eyelashes. I usually like to apply mascara before I put the false lashes, but in this case I forgot, so I have to do it after. And I'm just taking the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color 352, which is Truffle Cacao. And I'm just using a brush to apply it all over my face. This is really a lightweight formula, but it's buildable, by the way. You can apply different layers to make it more, like, thick. But uh, it's really lightweight, and I normally prefer to use a brush when the formula is lightweight. And of course we have to blend that out nicely and I'm just taking a beauty blender and I'm just blending it all out. For this step I'm just using the Ailey Girl Pro Conceal. Uh, concealer in the shade Fawn. It's the same one that I used for my eyebrows and I'm just using it to uh, conceal my imperfections and somehow highlight some parts of the face. As you can see I'm highlighting just below my eyes, concealing my eyelids and I'm also um, applying all over my cheek, just below my cheekbones and also on my nose and above on my forehead.
so i'm just taking this flat brush and i'm just blending it all out and then after the flat brush i'm just going to use a beauty blender to make it uh, sure that it's nicely blended So here you can see me using the beauty blender to make sure that it's nicely blended. I cannot underestimate how much this thing, this beauty blender actually makes your makeup look flawless. It does. It removes any streaks, any anything, streaks that might be caused by a brush or any other method of application and it's just perfect. Next I'm just taking the Sasha Buttercup settings powder and yeah the sasha buttercup setting powder and i'm just applying it all over my face i like to set my entire face not just the parts that i've concealed and while my face is setting i'm just taking the um, the maybelline molten gold highlighter and doing my lips so i'm applying the highlighter first before i apply the lipstick then i'm going in with a clean color pencil i believe these clean color pencils were discontinued because i've not seen them in the market anymore but i've had this for the longest time and it's really really good uh it's in the color purple top just in case uh it's around somewhere but i've not seen them i believe they were discontinued I'm not just taking a Maybelline Vivid Matte Lipstick uh, by Color Sensational, I believe, in the she in the color Possessed Plum, and I'm just applying it uh, all around my lips. I'm not going to apply it all over because I'm going to mix two shades, so I'm just applying it like in the outer corners of my lips. Next I'm just using this LA Colors Matte Lipstick. It's a matte lipstick but it's like a really creamy formula just like the, the other one for the Maybelline. Uh, and it's in the shade, can I remember the shade? Sorry about that guys, it's in the shade Going Steady which is a nude shade. So um, I'm just applying it all over my lips now and as you can see it's created an ombre effect but because it has harsh lines. We don't want harsh lines on our lips. I normally dab using a finger to just blend it all out. So next I'm just getting rid of all the setting powder that I used using a brush.
and I'm just making sure to highlight my nose but I'm not highlighting my entire nose I normally just highlight the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose because I have a really long nose and voila guys this is the final look for the makeup that we've just made thank you so much for watching this video I truly appreciate it I'll see you in my next video and make sure to subscribe if you did like this makeup look